The Space and Missile Defense Command's Reagan test site at Kwajalein Atoll supported a milestone missile defense agency test November 17, 2020. FTM-44 was a test of the destroyer-based Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System in a first-ever attempt to destroy a threat-representative ICBM-class target. The purpose of the test, according to Missile Defense Agency Director Vice Admiral John Hill, was to determine whether Aegis in the latest iteration of its standard missile interceptor, the Block 2A series developed jointly with Japan, could go beyond its original scope of medium and intermediate range theater defense and possibly be used to destroy incoming ICBM launched warheads in later years. If successful, the test could, in the future, widen the role of Aegis in MDA's homeland layered missile defense architecture, assisting the separate but linked ground-based mid-course defense system interceptors based in Alaska and California, with the purpose of destroying rogue and accidentally launched ICBMs. Here's a rundown provided by the Missile Defense Agency on what happened during the test. FTM-44 began with the launch of the target missile from Kwajalein Atoll at roughly 5.30 p.m. local time. As the target missile gained altitude, space-based sensors designed for ballistic missile observation and tracking picked up on the missile's location and trajectory. The satellites then passed that information to the Missile Defense Integration and Operations Center at Schriever Air Force Base in Colorado. A central hub for communicating command and control responses against missile threats, the Integration and Operations Center then relayed that target data to the USS John Finn, a ballistic missile defense destroyer positioned in the Pacific Ocean. Using its onboard radar, the Aegis Battle Management System on the John Finn picked up the target's location, trajectory, and speed, and drew up an engagement plan. A standard missile 3 Block 2A's MK-72 booster then ignited, engulfing the ship's deck in flames and punching the interceptor from the ship's vertical launch system and into space. After separating from its booster stages, the Block 2A's kinetic warhead independently homed in on the target using its onboard long wave infrared seeker and attitude divert thrusters, making fine tune adjustments along the way. And in a short period of time, the kinetic warhead achieved the goal, making a violent rendezvous with a target missile outside of the atmosphere near Hawaii and resulting in a critical success for the Missile Defense Agency's FTM-44 test.